What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about my thoughts on the final shape or review, whatever you would like to call it. I'm going to try not to spoil anything, but in case you don't really want to know anything about uh, the final shape at all, you might want to click off the video now. When it comes to my expectations, I was really hoping Bungie would deliver. And they did, except for on launch day. Launch day was pretty much unplayable, but as of yesterday, for me personally, uh, on the 5th uh, of you know June here on Wednesday uh, and Thursday of course everything has been running smoothly the game has been working as intended it was a very rocky start which I think kind of was a turn off to some people but unfortunately that's kind of how games go nowadays it seems like everything uh, when it comes out is always kind of bugged out or servers are messed up or you know whatever the case could be but once the game started working yesterday on Wednesday the story is absolutely phenomenal. I think it is by far better than The Witch Queen, and that was definitely the best story that Bungie had ever written to me for Destiny. The Witch Queen was a great expansion, but this definitely tops The Witch Queen. Um, this, the new zone in general, the Pale Heart, when you get inside the Traveler there, it's very familiar in a lot of areas, and it's kind of creepy and spooky and odd in other areas which was a very cool design in my opinion but overall I really like the way they have designed the map it is a large area there's a lot of places you can find that you may not even know that are there whether it be caves or you know just holes in the ground you jump in and it just kind of keeps going and going and the map looks big for the area to begin with but once you get inside the map after you've beat the story uh, it opens up to even more things when you just start kind of going out and adventuring and looking around and it looks amazing. Like I said, there's different areas that are bright and colorful, and there's some areas that are kind of creepy and gloomy. And I think they did a really good job with the kind of design overall and this different terrain and, you know, just different all the way through the zone itself. I will say one thing. They set the bar for how zones should be, how their future DLC should be, how their next game should be, whatever they, whatever their plans are for the future. This is how all of their kind of story uh, story DLC should be going forward the way they handled you know, like I said the new area the way they have done you know just everything in general what I just talked about how the terrain changes how the scenery changes I think from now on all of their you know story DLC should be done like this when it comes to you know a little bit about the story I'm not going to spoil anything like I said but the characters in the story uh, they meshed really well together. I didn't feel like anything was forced. I felt like some of the past um, DLCs that we've had for Destiny, uh, besides the Witch Queen, that a lot of the you know characters kind of forced. You know, it, it didn't feel just you know like everything went well together. Like everything was just how it was supposed to be, if that makes sense. And in this story, it definitely feels just like it should, and it doesn't feel forced, and nothing really you know feels all for odd it is just a really good story overall and the characters and the voice acting and everything is really great uh, and last but not least probably the best thing out of all of this is prismatic and you start getting prismatic early on into the story and now later on of course you have to unlock some things after you beat the story for prismatic but it's not like it was in the past where you had to have a currency to do this you can actually just go out into the open world and start finding the fragments that you need but Prismatic is more than I could have ever hoped for. I thought it was a great sounding idea to be able to really finally be able to make a custom build in general in the game, you know, by combining everything we have access to from all the subclasses. And now you cannot combine everything just yet. They're going to continue to add more stuff as, you know, the episodes go on throughout the year. But you still have a lot of option right now. And it has made building classes and, you know, kind of combining weapons and, and you know, exotic armor with those, uh, you know, builds and classes that you're doing a lot more fun than it ever has been in before in Destiny. Before, you know, you had these certain classes, certain skills, certain things that were what you wanted to use, you know, your certain abilities. This is pretty much what you used, certain fragments. Now it's almost kind of like endless possibilities. Now there's some things I still think that need to be tweaked that are probably not as good as some things we have available to us within the prismatic class itself. But overall, it is more than I could have hoped for. And I'm going to really be interested to see how Bungie goes forward with prismatic in the future. Overall, if you have not played the final shape yet, I would highly recommend it if you're a Destiny fan. 
And if you're looking to just start out in Destiny, if you've never played Destiny 2 before, now would be a great time to do it. Um, the bar is going to be set really high for you once you finish this story because it is absolutely amazing. And that's the only thing that kind of worries me. Some people may play this that have never played the past DLCs and they're going to be shocked at how good it really is. And if Bungie can continue on this path, um, Destiny has a really bright future, whether it's with this game or going into possibly Destiny 3 at some point. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.